Krieg. So today we're going to take a look at 3A's Machining Krieger from the creator Kao Yokoyama. Um, I'm going to give you a brief history about this universe from what I've read so far is basically the earth blew up nuclear fallout nuclear war so the remaining humans abandoned the planet to go somewhere else to colonize somewhere else and after a while they came back to the planet and found out the the whole planet somehow healed itself there's no more fallout everything was growing uh it was basically a new replenished planet and with that they also with that with that uh, discovery, they began to come back and destroy the planet again for its resources. So it's like a unending cycle of human greed. So it's not just one faction. I think there are different factions. They're like pirates. They're like uh, bandits, different corporations, governments trying to get back Earth and reclaim land, territory, resources and all that. Uh, this is a type of walker, a type of tank walker in this universe. It is called the Panzer Off Lorong's TW-47. If you guys could read that. That's the model name of this particular vehicle. And this is the retail ver version, retail edition. And this is the 30th anniversary piece. So I think it was released in 2012, if I'm not wrong. And... Yeah, a very unique, very unique looking vehicle, robot. I don't know, because if you could see, the humans are this big. So I don't see how a human could fit in this chassis. So I like to think this is some sort of mech robot thing in this universe. So with that being said, let's take a look at it. And here's the Panzer all out of the box. I'm not going to say its full name because I'm going to butcher it, but... I'm just gonna call it a Panzer. Uh, Panzer in German is basically tank. So this is like maybe a tank walker. There are different versions of this particular, I don't know, uh, platform or <laughs> uh, killer robot thing. There are some with big ass cannons. This one is the machine gun type. And damn, look at this thing. This thing is something on the next level i mean for 2012 this is still impressive to in today's standards it does have some german iconography here so i guess this is a german faction or some form of german ally <laughs> i can't really tell you any more than what i know from wikipedia and little forums and blogs so you can see like the engine is hanging out there this is a very haphazardly constructed vehicle of mass destruction. <laughs> uh, it doesn't come with any accessories. This is basically what you're getting. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a closer look at this thing. So here's a somewhat closer look at this Panzer piece. And if you guys could see the amount of detail, the amount of little pieces that brings this whole thing together. This actually looks real world to me. I mean, you can actually see this walking around in our universe. It doesn't look so fancy. It doesn't look like a Gundam. It actually looks like there was thought on how to kill people in this type of design. <laughs> so you can see this huge engine just hanging out here, some fuel canisters. There is some metal bits here and there which have rusted through time. I mean, it hasn't rusted because of the detail, it's rusted because of oxidation and because it's kept in storage for a while. I bought this piece from an old Chinese lady. I don't really know what the story was with that. I didn't really want to go into like, hey, why do you have this guy? She did sell it in a reasonable price. It was lower than what you get from retail or other stores. It was lower than that, so I was happy. But it was pretty weird. When I saw her, it was like a little Chinese lady with this box. Like, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't think she knew what it was she, uh, because of how she priced it. And basically, she said it to me as well. I was like, I don't know what it is. I hope you're happy with it. Like, yeah, I'm good. So yeah, it's a pretty weird transaction for me. But I'm happy it happened because I don't think I could get it for that price anywhere, truthfully. 
um on the scale of rarity of this piece is i think medium i still see it running around in my local stores um so me calling it rare is i don't know if it's true or not but it is pretty pricey on ebay i'm gonna tell you that much uh you could get it maybe on your local markets if you if you if there's any possibility because i see it when i look around like singapore local listings i see it around i i do and it's 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 priced reasonably i think it's priced reasonably because there's not really much you can do with this figure i mean this is it there's no accessories there's no pilot it is battery operated i'll show you in a bit and it doesn't really articulate well these legs are pretty stiff and pretty fragile so i'm not gonna attempt to um <laughs> articulate them but they do move so yeah with that being said maybe let's let's try and turn this thing on let's do it in camera not cut away so the battery pack is here okay i'm gonna need two hands for this because it's pretty yep that fell out so the battery compartment's there. So if I could turn it on. There are two switches. Each switch is for two separate things. So one switch is for this light and one switch is for the rotary machine gun thing as you can see. It is pretty loud, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty obnoxious. <laughs> it's like one of those wind up toys you got in the 90s. Those battery operated ones, but yeah, I wish there were more lights to this guy instead of just these two. I wish there were like more lights here and there or some moving parts. But yeah, this is him. I mean, look at that detail. It's very nice. Uh, this universe... Let me see, let's see if I can switch this off because it's getting annoying. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's enough. So this universe, I mean this... This, uh... How you say this? This category, this line, this series from Yokoyama is mostly model kits. Uh, he doesn't really make pre-painted stuff. He makes model kits and basically uh, people paint them. Which is, I think, why it's not very popular here. There's not a lot of model... Ooh, there's not a lot of model, uh, model community here. So this is pre-painted, as you can see. And I'm very happy with the paint apps with this thing. It was insane. It's it's like how do you say very 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 unique to me. I mean the it rivals that of the Star Wars um, walkers from Empire, I think. I'm just can't keep this here. So yeah, um, that's it really. This is the whole review. If you guys want to take a look at his stuff, it's really interesting, his, his universe, his, his series of robots, mech suits, pilots. It's very rusty, very steampunky, very futuristic. It was envisioned in the 1980s, so it has that old school look to it. And yeah, so with that being said, let's take a closer look at this guy. So here's a closer look at the Panzer. I mean, look at this paint detail. 2012 is like forever ago, but it's still holding up today. You could see some of the springs here. This, that's actually metal. And I don't know if it's real rust or painted rust. So it goes to show how detailed they do their paintwork. So you can see the flares here. Then his ginormous minigun there. It's got a spotlight here. You can see the bulb. I mean, this thing looks so so haphazardly made. I mean, it was, it looks like it was built in four days just to be launched in the front lines. I don't know if it fits a human, truthfully, because the way it's made, I think it fits one human. As you can see here, you can see maybe the engine block or the servos or whatever. I mean, just by this handle alone, you could see the the welding marks on those things like the welding marks on these things let's move down you can see how it's made i mean this thing is insane let's see if i could do one so you guys feet there see like all the gears and all that 
all the connectors, all the wires, all the welding marks, all the wear, all the paint wear, all the damage. It, this part does articulate, but it doesn't really go that far down, so I'm not going to attempt to articulate it. You can see his engine block there. Let's see if I get some light. There we go. It's nicely built, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. I mean, what can you say about 3A figures? It's nice about everything, really. Now, I don't know if there's another version of this type. All I know, there's a white version here. Other than that, I don't know if there's other, how do you say, variants of this Panzer vehicle. So, let's attempt to switch it on. So, like I said before, the, the oh my god. The, oh, there we go. The thing is here. And the switches are there. So it says one for light, one for gun. Uh, light, gun. And there you go. As you can see. I mean, if you see this thing coming at you in the in, in the battlefield, you you have to fucking run. So yeah, this is this is the Panzer. I'm not gonna say the full name because I can't really pronounce it very well, but there it is. So let's stick this boy on the shelf and see how he looks. So here is where I'll stick the Panzer on top of my Detolfs, which is the only place I could really put this guy. He takes a huge amount of space, so I chose to stick him outside, which is fine. I forgot one little detail is I'm actually missing some parts here. I've added some wires just to cover it up, but I'm missing its antenna and a little round piece there. Now I don't know if I had it and I just put it in a safe place, but I remember I did have the antenna somewhere and I put it in the box, but when I open the box, it's not there, so that's gonna annoy me for the rest of the year. But I managed to hodgepodge a little, a little DIY <laughs> placeholder for now. So yeah, that kind of sucks. So yeah, with that being said, uh, that's my review of the Panzer. Very nice figure or piece. It's not really a figure, you can't really do much with it. Except just display it. And yeah. Thanks for watching. And... Go get them.